Our universe is made up of mysteries. Countless secrets remain locked away out of our reach. Humans have a desire for knowledge that urges us to try and find out mysteries of the past, present, and future alike. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three fascinating mysteries. DNA analysis deepens mystery of Himalayan Skeleton Lake. The Skeleton Lake of the Himalayas is the origin of a long and bizarre mystery. The lake, as its name suggests, is overflowing with skeletons. According to scientists, hundreds of people perished in the lake within the past millennia. Upon its first discovery, researchers believed that Skeleton Lake was an archaeological location of a 9th century AD disaster where many ancient humans abruptly perished in the waters. However, recently revised evidence suggests a different theory that the skeletons spanned throughout the ages instead of all originating from the same time period, namely between the 9th and 19th century. DNA evidence conducted upon the skeletal remains of the drowned revealed that most of those who perished in the Indian region were of Mediterranean descent. A myriad of these skeletons have also been found to have cracks in their skulls formed by some sort of blunt force trauma as if something plunged onto their heads at high velocity. Naraj Rai of the Indian Birbal Sani Institute of Paleo Sciences has stated about the phenomenon. Rupkund Lake has long been subject to speculation about who these individuals were, what brought them to Rupkund Lake, and how they lost their lives. It is important to note that the lake was not property found until the conflict of 1942. The story goes that British forces discovered Rupkund Lake and believed the countless number of skeletons were the unfortunate result of Japanese attacks which was proven incorrect once future analysis on the cadavers was completed and their bones stemmed back to the 9th century. It is now thought that perhaps two similar tragic events at different points in time caused the people to perish. The first of these events is thought to have happened somewhere between the 7th and 10th century. The second catastrophic event likely occurred somewhere between the 17th and 20th century to two separate groups of people possibly Southeast Asian and Mediterranean travelers or merchants. A. Dean Harney of Harvard University has claimed that the team working on the discovery were extremely surprised by the genetics of the Rupkund skeletons, the presence of individuals with ancestries typically associated with the Eastern Mediterranean suggests that Rupkund Lake was not just a site of local interest, but instead drew visitors from across the globe. If this is the case, then scientists have not the slightest idea what could have been so exciting about Rupkund Lake to attract so many people of various backgrounds who travel there. More than that, they are also unsure about what happened at Rupkund Lake to make it the skeleton lake it is today. A co-author to the study, David Reich, states it raises the striking question of how migrants from the eastern Mediterranean, who have an ancestry profile that is extremely atypical of the region today, passed away in this place only a few hundred years ago. Archaeologists are still searching for the truth, baffled by the mystery. Perseverance rover investigates odd green rock on Mars. Mars, our kindred planet, is a center of fascination. Perseverance, one of the rovers sent to analyze and collect samples to send back to Earth, has been scouring the red planet, searching for anything of intrigue, and it just so happens that it has. On one of its journeys around Mars, Perseverance uncovered an unusual never-seen green rock that has confused astronomers. The rock itself is six inches in length and is a strange shade of green with shimmering spots. Why it looks like this? or what it even is, is not yet definitively known, and the origin of the rock is questionable. Perseverance's creators and its researchers are on a quest to figure out what this discovery means for Mars and its future. They are attempting to analyze whether the rock was moved from its original location or whether it belongs where it was found. Of course, it could have also come from space in the form of a meteorite. The official Perseverance Twitter account tweeted, the team has formulated many different hypotheses about this one. Is it something weathered out of the local bedrock? Is it a piece of Mars plopped into the area from a far-flung impact event? Is it a meteorite or something else? Perseverance has a SuperCam instrument laser installed. 
This allows the rover to analyze what a rock or object's chemical plasma is made of, revealing its components. The SuperCam laser can heat objects up to 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Alongside the laser is a microphone that helps Perseverance's team back on Earth know how hard an object is by being able to listen to the recorded audio samples that reveal how far the laser can penetrate. This helps them understand how hard a rock or object might be. Unfortunately, the results of Perseverance's tests are still underway, so it might be a while before scientists are able to reveal the truth about this mysterious rock's origins. Astronomers detect the best place and time to live in the Milky Way galaxy. A study conducted by the National Institute of Astrophysics in Italy researched what is the best place and time to live in the Milky Way galaxy. After analyzing the Milky Way, scientists have discovered that when it was created more than 6 billion years ago, the outskirts of the galaxy were the best places for life to potentially form, as they were the safest at that time. The outskirts of the Milky Way, as a location, would have provided the solar system there with, in the words of one of the researchers involved with this project, best protection against the gamma ray bursts and supernovae that blasted space with deadly radiation. Gamma ray bursts and supernovae can be a serious threat to budding life in the universe, as their explosions are intense and release incredibly powerful amounts of energy into their nearby and not so nearby surroundings. With cosmic energy relentlessly soaring through the Milky Way, it is only natural that places further from the collision zone would be significantly safer. The study was published in the Journal of Astrophysics and Astronomy and was led by Riccardo Spinelli, who is a PhD student from the University of Insubria. In his studies, Spinelli found that it is possible that life exists on the very crevices of our galaxy, where life would have had a higher chance at coming into being without the endless threat of dangerous gamma-ray blasts. Only in the past billion years have the inner parts of the galaxy become adequately safe for life to inhabit it, now that the Milky Way has calmed down and stabilized. Nevertheless, it is not as safe as we want to believe. The study found limited proof that supports the theory of the very first big-scale Earth extinction being the direct result of a gamma-ray explosion more than 445 million years ago now. If this is the case, while 445 million years may seem to us like a long time, it is but a blink of an eye to the cosmos and could happen again. In Spinelli's own words, our work shows that until 6 billion years ago, excluding the peripheral regions of the Milky Way, which had relatively few planets due to high star formation and low metallicity, planets were subject to many explosive events able to trigger a mass extinction. Spinelli proceeds to explain that from 4 billion years ago, the increase of heavy elements produced by later stellar generations reduced the frequency of GRBs, ensuring a safer environment in the most central regions of the galaxy. Between 6,500 and 26,000 light years from the galactic center, where terrestrial planets are most abundant. Researchers believe that GRBs are directly linked to star formations and the death of a star, known as a supernova and is when a star runs out of energy to fuel itself and explodes. The scientists often describe GRBs as high-energy radiation bursts that are sent through the galaxy in bursts after an extraordinarily large star dies and turns into a supernova. Alternatively, when two neutron stars, which were once gigantic stars, merge either together or with a black hole. The result is that intense burst of gamma radiation that destroys anything in its path. Spinelli's co-author, Giancarlo Galanda, states about them, GRBs prefer star-forming regions that are still poorly engulfed by heavy elements. In these regions, massive stars that are formed by metal-poor gas lose less mass during their life, but due to stellar winds. Therefore, these stars can keep themselves in rapid rotation, a necessary condition to be able to launch, once a black hole has formed, a powerful jet. The study's research revealed a model which predicted what the galaxy was like and will be like. During its formation billions of years ago, the inner parts of the Milky Way were susceptible to GRBs because of the collisions of stars and planets, as well as formations of black holes, and the outer parts were safe because stellar activity was scarce. Over time, however, 
The study suggests that as the inner parts stabilized, more stars begun to form on the outer areas of the galaxy, thus making the outer parts more dangerous. Therefore, despite the threat of being hit by a gamma ray burst never being zero, we are in the best place in our galaxy at this current moment in time. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.